Hello everybody, this is Azrael444. I just want to put this video on here because uh, I've been thinking about some things that's pertaining to the time of the timing of the rapture of the church. And I'm putting this video on here as just for information, uh, whether the time that I'm going to talk about is going to actually be correct, I don't know. Only the Heavenly Father knows that. But I'm just putting my thoughts on here, and I'm not saying it will happen on this, on, on this time. I'm not saying it will happen. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm just putting it on here for you guys to maybe you know, do a little research on and, and see what you guys think. But uh, <clears throat> it's concerning two uh, scriptures from the Bible. And uh, I know one's in Psalms. I wish I, I should have looked up the numbers for the scripture, but no one's in Psalms, and I think the other one's in Matthew. But uh, the one scripture where Jesus talks about the parable of the fig tree, and how he talks about how the fig tree, you know, is Israel, which, you know, I believe that's true because he kind of points to that in the Bible. And uh, I guess there's a lot of interpretation saying that the parable of the fig tree is about when Israel becomes a nation. And how that relates is Jesus talks about the, uh, the generation that sees, you know, Israel become a nation relating to the parable of the fig tree. He says, the nation that sees this shall not pass till he returns. So anyway, with that in mind, uh, Israel became a nation in 1948. I know that it started in 47, but it was all finalized in 1948. But when Jesus says the uh, the generation that sees this shall not pass till he comes back. Well, okay, he says generation. So what is the generation? There's a couple of different places in the, in the Bible that talks about how long the life of man is. But in this particular one, I believe it was in Psalms. But he talks, says that the generation of a man is three score and ten which is sixty and ten seventy you know, seventy years then he talks about for the time of the that the Jews are have to are suffering you know a lot or had to go through great suffering or will be going through great suffering and he, and he says there's ten years for that so that makes eighty years Yeah, that's my uh, stupid grandfather clock making noise. But anyways, so, you know, they get that 70 years plus the 10 years for the, the Jews that are going through the, you know, turmoil. So the, apparently this 10 years, is, it is not the tribulation, because the tribulation is only 7 years. So personally, I think that just 10 years that he's talking about He's talking about the generation of a man. Is the ten years precedes the seventy? Does not come after the seventy. So if you go from 1948 to 1938, there is a ten-year period in history where the Jewish people suffered greatly. In 1948, 1938. Uh, the, the Jewish Holocaust, where millions of Jews were killed, and 
that 10 year period would fit that perfectly because it's at the time period, 1938-1948. So if you go back to 1938 and you add those 70 plus 10, you know, 80 years, so you take the 70 and you add that 10 years that the Jews are going through the trouble, which makes 80, and you add that to 1938, which was the beginning of the Jewish Holocaust, comes to 2018. And uh, but if you know if you put it on the end of the seventy and said so beginning of the seventy, and then it goes from two thousand twenty eight. But I think we're too close to things happening to it be that long. I think it will be before then. But I'm not saying it's going to be in two thousand eighteen. I'm just give me some of the scriptures in the Bible that kind of point to some dates. But, uh, anyhow, he also says at the sound of the last trump, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are left alive will be changed in the blink of the eye and meet him up in, with, with him up in heaven with the, uh, the dead that rose in him in, in Christ first. Okay, some people say, well, that's must be President Trump. Well, there's only one problem with that. Jesus said at the sound of the last Trump, which would indicate there would be a Trump before this Trump. And we've only had one Trump president. So I believe that he's actually speaking about the Feast of Trumpets which is in the fall so I am not saying the day I'm not saying the hour but I am thinking that it could possibly be the fall of 2018 at the end of the Feast of Trumpets It uh, kind of makes sense. So, but like I said, I'm not saying it will happen then. I'm, like I said, I'm not saying it. it's not going to happen. I'm not saying it is. I'm just putting that out there for you all to do a little research and see for yourself. But uh, that's assuming if. All these people have talked about the parable of the fig tree being about Israel becoming a nation. You know, if that's all interpreted correctly, I'm just going by what the majority are saying about the parable of the fig tree and what Jesus talks about. But, uh, so if you go by those scriptures, it lines up to the fall of 2018. So, anyways. I just want to put that out there and uh, I invite your all's replies you know give me some ideas what you think you know that, uh, if I'm wrong tell me I'm wrong if I'm right say hey you know you might have something or whatever you know but uh, the only important thing is though is to be ready and we're so late in the season we need to be ready now Get right with Jesus. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. He died on the cross and he shed his blood for you so that you can enter his father's house. So, I mean, you know, just know that as a fact and say it out loud and accept him into your life. Because I don't think there's going to be much time left. I don't think there is. Even if it is 2028, which I don't think it is, that's not far off either. That's another 10 years. So, anyways, please uh, give me the thumbs up on my video if you like it. And, you know, if you don't like it, thumbs down. I don't care. I mean, either way, I'm 
open to opinions in both directions. So, and if you leave negative opinions on her or anything like that, you know, it's like, you know, it's, you know you're entitled to your opinion, but and it doesn't bother me either way. So, I'm just trying to put some information out there. So, anyways, I'm going to get off here and I'll talk to you all later. And God bless. And you all know, take care. Get saved. And if you know anybody that's not saved, share this video with them. And you know, look it up in the Bible and point it out to them in the Bible. And say, hey, you know, maybe it'll open their eyes. So, anyways. Love y'all. You're all my brothers and sisters. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.